Hello once again, everybody. We're visiting today with Secretary of Agriculture Vilsack. It's good to have you with us today, Secretary. Uh, it's great to be back uh, in a great state uh, at a great event uh, that really focuses on Ohio agriculture and its, and its innovation. I've uh, come back here a number of times. Uh, you've got a great uh, series of universities, in including Ohio State University. They're doing some uh, phenomenal work and in innovation, so I'm always excited about being back here. Well, of course, your home state is no, uh, no, has no secret of agriculture. It's uh, one of the top agricultural states in the country. Uh, the Midwest here in the United States is something to really be proud of, the production of what farmers can do. Well, first of all, I think it's important to point out to folks that agriculture has been the second most productive aspect of our economy since 1980. Uh, even during a, a difficult summer, this summer with the drought, we're still seeing uh, strong farm income and strong exports. And, and what I'm most excited about is, is how resilient American farmers have been in this tough time and how innovative they are. I mean, here we are in an area that's talking about growing the cure. Uh, basically using food products as a way of supplementing or complementing medicine uh, to deal with a variety of uh, cancers, whether it's black raspberries uh, for oral cancer or tomato juice for prostate cancer. It's a tremendous opportunity for us to expand once again the uses of what we do with uh, what we grow, making our nation stronger and, and certainly improving rural incomes. Mr. Secretary, how important is it for a show like Farm Science Review to tell the story of agriculture, not to the agricultural community, but to the entire world? Hey, that's really an important question. Uh, you know, it's great for farmers to talk to farmers uh, and for farmers to learn all of the new innovations, but I think it is more important now, uh, perhaps more important than ever, for the rest of the country to understand what agriculture does for the country. First, we are a food secure nation, which means that we don't have to worry about where our food comes from. We grow enough to basically feed ourselves. That's not true of hardly any other country in the world, and in part as a result of innovation. The ability to figure out how to grow uh, corn even when you have very little rain, uh, as we had this year. Uh, secondly, it's an opportunity uh, also to educate folks about the extension of agriculture beyond food and feed, now into fuel, now into uh, bio-based products, now into potential medicines. Uh, and as people learn about the exciting, innovative nature, it also, I think, attracts young people uh, to the science of agriculture, and that's uh, also encouraging. Do you think U.S. farmers might be too efficient uh, that some people might take o Ohio and U.S. agriculture for granted? <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt about the fact that uh, most of us that don't farm uh, do not have a full understanding of the risk associated with farming, nor do we appreciate all we get as a result of the efficiency and productivity of American farmers. But now we're beginning to see uh, the emergence of local and regional food systems that are creating a, a, d a deeper connection uh, with producers and their consumers. We're, we're beginning to see these new uh, small companies develop new products. I was at Ford Motor Company not long ago, and every seat of every Ford truck and car is now soy-based. Uh, and they have a vision of a car that's eventually made totally plant material, not petroleum based, reducing our reliance on foreign oil, making us a safer nation, making us a healthier economy, starting in rural America. I just think that there's just unlimited possibilities here. And a show like this basically celebrates that, reminds us that there's a lot of great, neat stuff going on, and, and I think particularly gets young people excited about careers in agriculture. During the 50th year of the Farm Science Review, our guest, Secretary Vilsack, thank you for being with us. It's great to be back. And stay with us back with more right after this.